Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I am Tia Latrice and I am finally back with another DIY for you. If you haven't already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload new content. All right guys, so we are gonna go ahead and jump right into today's DIY. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this trash to treasure faux canvas wall art set. So first of all, I started with this old cloth shower curtain. It's literally been packed away in my closet for like four or five years. I probably was never gonna use it again. So I decided to repurpose it. In addition to that, I used these old shoe box tops. So just the, the top parts that come off those, um, you know, cardboard shoe boxes. I also used a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, and a couple of optional materials, uh, is some tape and some string. And that just kind of depends on the condition that your boxes are in. As you can see, some of my box tops were broken right at the corners. So I just used the tape to make sure that those boxes were uh, structurally sound. Um, I just wanted to make sure that they were uh, gonna be sturdy enough to serve as the, uh, the base essentially for my wall art. In addition to making sure that the corners are intact, I also wanted to make sure that the uh, the tops were also in good condition. As you can see, this one right here, it had a little bit of a hole, I think from one of the heels or something, uh, right in the middle of the box. So I just made sure to tape that down on both sides. And because our material is thick enough, you won't be able to see that through the, um, through the fabric. So I felt like that would probably still be good to use. So the next step was to lay out those box tops on the fabric just to kind of try to figure out which pieces I wanted to use for the center of those particular canvases. We're gonna call them canvases, um, but essentially in the middle of the box top uh, as the focal point of that particular piece. Um, now you probably can't see it uh, on camera, but there were some spots of discoloration, probably just from me having it packed away for so long. So I had to be very strategic in where I placed the um, the tops because I didn't want to get any of those, uh, I guess they're not technically stains, but there are some areas of discoloration. I wanted to be sure not to get those into the frame, so to speak. So once you kind of plan out which areas you want to use, you're gonna wanna make sure that you cut enough of the fabric, not only to cover the front part, but you're also gonna want to overlap the sides so that it goes kind of onto the back of your, um, your box top. And this is going to give you the illusion that this is like a wrapped canvas, just like you would get from, you know, a high end, um, decor store or you know even something that's not necessarily high end but something that you would buy that's intended to go on your walls you want to kind of mimic that same that same look so you want to make sure that you cut out enough that's going to overlap onto the back side of your box top So when I was done cutting away the fabric, I just moved the excess out of the way. And then I just wanted to be sure that I had the fabric kind of centered in the position that I wanted it. I wanted to kind of visually see what I was working with before gluing things into place. Um, also wanted to see if there was any um, sections that needed to be ironed. Uh, a couple of these sections, as you can probably tell, are a little wrinkled. Um, so I just wanted to see if I could kind of get away with pulling it tightly or if I needed to iron um, any particular sections. Wanted to see how they coordinated well with one another or if I needed to maybe cut out a different section of the um, original material. Uh, but all the pieces that I had worked pretty well. Now once I had kind of planned out which pieces I wanted to go where, I went ahead and began to glue those down using the hot glue gun. And essentially you're just gonna go side by side um, 
I tried a couple of different methods for wrapping this. Um, you can cut the corners, that does work. Um, you can do it also without cutting the corners as long as your fold is neat. Um, but ultimately I ended up um, most successfully, <laughs> I, I would glue down one side and then the opposite side I would glue down and then I would go back to the, um, the op the other size if that makes sense and i'll show you i know that you can't see it very well from this angle but i'll kind of show you what i did uh, right after this one i'll give you a closer look at kind of how i did this for most of those and one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're doing this number one you want to be sure to pull the fabric tightly you want to also be sure that you have your material kind of centered so that you don't um, accidentally pull too much fabric to one side and then also you're going to want to be sure to very intentionally fold your corners you're going to make sure that they kind of have that canvas look that stretched canvas look um, and again i'll show you in the next shot what i mean by that <clears throat> but this is kind of just a glimpse at the process and there is no you know right or wrong way to do this you just want to make sure essentially that all of the material is glued down all around the edges and that if there is any excess that you need to cut off you can feel free to cut that off or at least make sure that it's glued down um, so that's not going to um, hinder you know you from being able to put that on the wall and for that to lay flush Okay, so here is a closer view. And again, I had a, quite a few of these to do, so I had a, a little bit of trial and error. But essentially, you're gonna do one side just like this, take a look at it on the front, make sure it's centered, and then go ahead and glue down the side that's opposite to it. You're gonna make sure that that's nice and tight, and then you're gonna go to your other sides and make sure that you pay attention to the corners. You see how that one was uh, kind of folded with a, um, a straight angle, just like most stretched canvases are. I made sure to do that for each of the corners, and I'll show you a couple more, like this one here. Um, you just wanna make sure that you have a straight line for the canvas, just to give it more of a professional look. And then you're just gonna glue down all of the sides. So this one is pretty much finished. You see the, the sides are nice and neatly tucked, but I'm gonna show it to you one more time just in case. Again, it took me quite a bit of trial and error to figure out specifically the best way to do this. Um, so I'm showing you a few times just in case you need to see it from different angles or, you know, I definitely did them a little bit differently each time, but essentially they all worked out in the end. <laughs> So guys, one thing I do want to um, to make sure that you know, now if you do have fabric that is overlapping, you're gonna wanna put hot glue not only on the box, but also between each layer of fabric. So if you have to like fold fabric over top of fabric, make sure that you uh, glue between like the box and the fabric and then between like that first layer of fabric and then the second layer of fabric that you fold over on top of it. That's gonna give you a more secure hold. And just as a reminder, make sure that you um, 
you don't cut your fabric too close to the edge or that you don't pull it too tightly or too far to one side because you want to be sure that you're getting the entire uh, surface of your box top covered. I actually was really, really cutting it close with that one right before this one, um, but I managed to make it work, so just be careful of that. Okay guys, so we are pretty much done. If you opt to put string on the back, now is the time to do that. Um, you can just use some hot glue and some string. I only put the string on the back of one of those um, and I actually ended up not even using it. But um, before you put anything on the wall, you may wanna kind of figure out the arrangement that you want to use so that you know where to place your strings if you are going to use those. I ended up just using some um, <laughs> thumbtacks, believe it or not, and just place those on the thumbtacks. So here is our finished product. I think it turned out very, very well. You would never know that this was literally something that could have and would have gone in the trash. And we turned it into something beautiful and made like this little cute little area right in the corner or wherever you decide that you wanna place yours. No one would ever know that this came from, you know, an old um, shower curtain. It looks like really professional in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Look also guys, you see how, how tightly that one is, those are pulled and how um, the ends are tucked. That's gonna be what really gives you your professional, your high end look. So just be sure that you uh, pay attention to that when you are doing this DIY. So let me know what you think guys. Put your comments down below. Click that like button and the subscribe button and I'll check you out next time. Thanks, bye.